name is Mawadit Lualiai, chairperson of Twitch Mayadit community in Kenya. Welcome to Twitch broadcast today. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to bring to your attention today that I would like to talk about the leadership. That they means build your community before we build the nation, or charity begin at home. That is what I would like to bring to you. Welcome. Uh, well, I would like to say a few things about the leadership or about charity beginning at home. We are the leaders of today and tomorrow. We have a lot of things to change our community. We have a lot, we have much actually to do as leaders. We really need to transform our communities before we transform the nation. We really need to build our community before we build the nation. We have to start deep making changes in our communities. You cannot be a leader without your community. We have to start working, impressing, making people happy, building people life for us to move forward that we always want. It is very impossible to build a nation when you have not built your community as a leader. For example, I as a son of the Mayari community, I cannot become a president of South Sudan if there is nothing I have done in the community where I was born. Reason, the community have got the people, they are actually the right people to back you. They are the right people actually to support you. They are the right people to describe you. Your community must be back behind you, supporting you, describing you, campaigning for you that so and so have done this and that. It is what you do, it is what you have done that give you what is next. Otherwise, if we don't start our charities in our communities, then we forget calling ourselves that we can lead the nation. What will you build in the nation if you have not built your community? Once you become a leader, or if you are yearning actually to become a leader, we have to start our charity at home. Our homes are our communities where we come from. For example, we got a good independent. South Sudan is a country. We fought for it. Our leaders advised the life for it. We got it. Now it is called South Sudan. This is the right time because after we came, after we got that country called South Sudan, it is the right time for each and every son, each and every daughter that want to become a leader to start making changes in her or his community for that person to be noticed what he or she is best at. After we came, after we got the independent, our communities are not yet independent. It is the South Sudan, but our communities are not yet independent. Why am I saying our communities are not yet independent? One, our, our communities, they don't have schools where our kids can get education. They don't have primary school, they don't have secondary school, they don't have university, they don't have college. They don't have, they have completely nothing. This is where now we should all go back to our communities, start building our communities. And in the name of building the communities, you realize that you are building a nation. That's why I'm saying, build your community before you build the nation. It is not practical or it is not logical to say that I want to become a president when you have not even done a single thing in your community. Who do you think that will give you that leadership? You cannot become a leader without people. And in our communities, that is where we have people actually who love us more. We have got people who actually support us more than any other person. You cannot be loved because uh, you are handsome, because you are so well looking person, or because you have money. No, if, even though you have money and you don't know actually what you are doing with that money, definitely you are not a leader. We need leaders who are ever example, who are ever there 
when the community needs them. You cannot be there for the country if you are not there for your community. Who do you think you are? A leader should have the back of his community. Let us build our community first before we build the nation. Our communities need us first before the nation needs us. Once you do something good in your community, the nation is also alert that this so and so have done this good thing. If we give this person a chance, then he is able actually to do better thing to us once we allowed him or her to work for us. So it is a challenge. It is a big challenge to us as leaders, as sons, as citizens of this nation to start working down there from the communities because your people from where you come from will definitely give you the mandate to leave the country. Otherwise, if you are not if you are not doing anything from your community, then you forget the national leadership. Because the national leadership, you gain the trust from people before you gain the trust from the nation entirely. It is our responsibility as leaders. Start your leadership in your community. And once you get that chance, you will definitely know what your country wants. That's all I can say. I hope it's gonna change you. I hope it's gonna make sense to you. That's all I can say. That's all. Thank you.